Welcome, this is Jake with Genesis Rage, and in this video we'll be going over how to write an extension for SmartFox using NetBeans. Here I have NetBeans open with the basic extension that I've already gone through and configured. Now before actually adding a handler, I actually like to create the class first before I reference it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is going to create a new file, and we're going to make a new Java, Java class, and this one here I'm going to call some numbers handler. I'm going to leave it in the myxt package and hit finish. Now this class here needs to extend and this here is going to be extending the base client request handler. Let the autocomplete finish that off and also adds in the correct import that we need. And this class here, after we extend it, we need to override, override, and this one here we need to override a method called public void handle client request, and this takes in a type of user, again let the autocomplete take over, and we'll call that user. And then also it takes in an ISFS object, and we'll call that object in. And there we have the one method that we have to override in order to extend this class. Now for this extension, we're going to require it to take in two different numbers. So first we'll go int and we'll call this one num, let's call it a. And we're going to grab it from the object in that's being sent from the client. And we're going to get int. And the key that we send in, we'll call it num a as well. For the second one, int, and I'll call this num b. Again, it's from the object in variable from the client get int, and we'll call this one num b. Now that we have the variables that the client object sends the extension, we're going to create an ISFS object to actually send information back to the client. And we're going to call this one obj out. And that's going to equal a new SFS object. Again, allow autocomplete to take over and add in the correct import that we need up here. Now that we have the object created, we need to put something in to send back to the client. So we're going to go obj out, and we're going to put an int, and this one here will send it back with the key of numc. And for the integer we're going to be sending back, we're going to take numa and add num b to that. And now we're ready to send the object back to the client. So we'll go send. And the command name we're going to use is sum numbers. We're going to be sending it obj out. And we're going to send it to the user that actually requested this extension in the first place. Now this is all we need for the actual handler, so we're going to save this file out. We're going to come back into our main extension file here and actually add in the request handler. So we go add request handler. For the request ID, it's going to be some numbers. And for the class, this will be some numbers handler dot class. I'm going to save that file out as well. A quick overview of what's happening here is it's listening for a command called some numbers being sent by the client and that's going to be handled by this some numbers handler class. And then in here it does its calculations, it spits back the sum of num a and num b and it sends it back with the command of sum numbers. 
Now this sum numbers the name of the file and also this command right here can all be different names however I find it easier to leave the same name for everything throughout the entire process keeps things a little more organized and easier to debug. So with everything saved out we can go ahead and build. It's building the jar file and now it's finished building. So that will wrap up this video and thanks for watching.